Hey guys, this is Peter with Family Bred Puppies, and I just wanted to make a video of what to expect on the puppy's first day and night that you have her. So I recently adopted Sadie from one of our breeders, and I renamed her Emma, which is a question we get a lot. Um, so we don't use the names that we have them on our website. We use it more as a reference point so that when people call in, they can say, hey, we're interested in Sadie or Joey and you don't have to say, oh, we're interested in the puppy with the white mark on the face and the paw. So we encourage people, if you have another name that you like, feel free to rename them, or if you like the name, you can keep it as well. So when you first get a puppy, um, every puppy is different. And like with Emma, she was very shy at first. Like she really warmed up to me, but when I took her around other people, she would always just sit in between my legs. And whenever I walked anywhere, she would follow me and just sit there. Um, and other puppies, they'll warm up to you right away and warm up to other dogs and people. Um, but since I've had her now for a few days, she's really started to warm up and now she's really friendly with everyone. Uh, so the next thing I wanna talk about is um, the first night. And the first night is pretty tough on the puppies because they're you know, away from their, their uh, family and you know they're going to be by themselves in the cage. So I want to show you my cage over here and how I have it set up. So right when um, I took her home and I played with her, let her out to go to the bathroom, um, when it was time for night, um, I put her in her cage and I got a food and water bowl off Chewy. It's this plastic one right here and you can put you know food in one side, water on the other side and it works really well because then they can still eat but if you don't, if you have like a traditional one up here, like on the ground, they'll knock it over and it'll spill everywhere. So that's why I really like this. One thing you don't want to do though is don't give them water at night because otherwise they'll um, drink it and they'll be holding it the whole night and they'll end up going to the bathroom. So with this cage divider here, um, you want to make sure that the cage is small enough so that they don't want to go to the bathroom in their cage. If you use the full cage, they'll pick a corner and they'll go to the bathroom. Um, so a lot of cages, they come with this metal divider, but mine didn't, so I kind of made a handmade one. And you want to make the cage big enough so that they can still like do a circle and move around, but not big enough so they, they don't want to go to the bathroom. Um, something that I did too, like for the first night is like for 10 or 15 minutes, I would um, just sit with Emma here and you know, pet her and just make sure that she's doing okay. And you know, she, she was still doing some whining that first night, but you know, she was just kind of getting used to the cage for the first time. Um, so after she kind of calmed down is when I was ready to go to bed and you know, I let her out to go to the bathroom and I brought her back. And you wanna make sure you have um, a blanket. So what this blanket will do is it'll first just make everything more dark so that she doesn't see you know, any light or she also doesn't see any distractions, you know, people moving or, you know, just other distractions that could, um, you know, wake her up and then so that she'd start whining again. Um, another play thing, so like for the placement of your cage, I would suggest putting it like in a far corner of the house because they are going to whine for about 30 to 45 minutes that first night and you'll really want, like you'll be hearing them and you want to let them out, but you really just want to let them get used to the kennel. And, you know, after about three or four nights, they'll really calm down and they won't be whining as much. But if you, if they start whining and you let them out, it starts building that habit that if I whine, they'll let me out of the cage. Um, so once you're ready and she's kind of gotten used to the cage, you can use the blanket to cover it up just like this so that she can't see anything. And then another thing I like to do, if you have like a radio, um, I have a TV down here and like I just have a TV show up here that you can play. And what that does is it just creates some extra sound so that she doesn't, you know, wake up during the night and hear things. Um, so yeah, I have a blanket and then a TV and then like I sleep over here in this room and like I made sure to close the door and then I turned my fan all the way up and she'll be whining and loud, but um, after a few nights, she'll get used to it. Um, I say normally the first night, it's like 30 to 45 minutes. The second night is around 15 minutes. The third night's five to 10 minutes. And after that, um, it'll only take a few minutes till they get used to it. Thank you.